Welcome biologists, to this session we're going to be taking a look at what endocrine communication is and how hormones are transported around the body and how they impact upon cells. So first of all, endocrine, this is a tissue or an organ that secretes hormones, sometimes enzymes, directly into the blood. They do not have any ducts or they don't use ducts in the endocrine communication. There is another type though, there are exocrine glands. An exocrine gland is the opposite. Um, so in an exocrine gland, they do not release the hormone directly into the blood. They use ducts to carry the hormone to another place where it may be stored until it's needed. Now, there are two types of hormone we need to be aware of here. We've got peptide hormones and steroid hormones. So a peptide hormone is a, is a protein-based hormone. These are not lipid soluble. So these cannot diffuse straight through the phospholipid bilayer. They have to use the first messenger and second messenger model in order to impact and make changes upon the cell, which we'll look at in a minute. The next hormone that we need to be aware of is a be aware of is a steroid or lipid based hormone and these guys are lipid soluble so they can diffuse straight through the phospholipid bilayer and act straight upon the DNA of the nucleus triggering a response inside that cell. So the first messenger and second messenger response um, in this particular example we have the hormone of adrenaline. Now the hormone no matter what it is is the first messenger and I have seen that a couple of times in the exam that you do need to be aware that that is the first messenger. Now this um, hormone will have a complementary and specific shape to the receptor which is on the cell surface membrane of its target cell. Now the target cell will obviously be different depending upon which organ it is or cell it is. So adrenaline in this case which is our example and as our first messenger will bind to the receptor because it has a complementary and specific shape to that receptor on the target cell. Once my hormone has bound to my receptor, this will cause my adenyl cyclase, which is an enzyme inside of the cell, to activate. Once adenyl cyclase has been activated, it then converts ATP into cyclic AMP. And it's this cyclic AMP, which is the second messenger, which again, I have seen a number of times on the exam. And this cyclic AMP will activate certain enzymes within that cell. Now, depending upon what that cell is or where it's located, cyclic AMP will have different impacts upon the cell. So that is how adrenaline, in this particular example, an example of a peptide hormone, triggers a response inside the cell using the first messenger and second messenger model. And that is endocrine communication using hormones. Good luck with your exams.